Uh, so welcome to the Courageous Nerd YouTube channel. My name's Connor and I'm joined today by Aidan Minx. Aidan, thanks for taking the time and how are you doing today? Of course, thanks for having me. I'm doing great. <laughs> for sure. And uh, we were saying before the call, actually, it's been about a year since we spoke last time. And obviously a lot has happened in the world, I'm sure. So for you, so how has things changed since last January? Yeah, um, just been going good. We finished uh, filming season five. Um, and uh season four released so like yeah mm. just, everything's just going good with that um I nothing too different started up uh, I started working as a line cook you know just to, like you know get the experience because I always wanted mm. to be a cook so starting yes. to do that it's fun <laughs> for sure and I suppose like a belated uh congrats on the release of season four it's been out for a couple of weeks as of when we're uh recording this but like how have you and the rest of the cars found I mean overwhelmingly positive response of Viva's number one right on Netflix oh yeah no it, it's amazing like getting to be like number one show in the world again <laughs> like mm. it's just like it, it's it's a really cool thing to get to like say <laughs> mm. yeah it, it's it's just amazing like it, it's like all the fans and all the support the show gets like I'm just really grateful for it all <laughs> mm. absolutely yeah and I could be wrong but like back when your character Mitch right was introduced in season two they, they could have probably very easily have written him out just because of that, the way he was brought in. So like, did you know going in how long Mitch would be around for? Or like, were you kind of expecting maybe like only a few episodes and not really anything too long-term? Exactly. Yeah. Like I sort of felt like, like in a way it felt like I was just going to be there like on dojo days, like anytime sure. like we were in the dojo, that's just where I would be. Um, but yeah, it's just been cool. Like what they've been doing with my character and like giving him like sort of his own story where it's like, okay, First, he's a little bit of like a goon and mm. then he starts going off into his own path and now he gets like to rebuild all the bridges with his friends yeah and, like, yeah <laughs> yeah and obviously we meet uh, we first meet mitch obviously outside the cobra kai dojo along with chris so we know uh, he knew chris before like any of this started but like do you think he would have like known any of the other characters socially or from school before starting karate that's what i think like what well in a maybe I feel like it would have been like um, the binary brothers thing, how it's like, um, like they were just hanging out with each other all the time. And sure. then Miguel came along and they brought him in. Like it could have just been me and me and Chris, like hanging out all the time. Cause like, we're both the big WWE fans. So like, that's mm. all we would talk about. That's all we'd be with each other about. So I feel like I probably could have like been in a class with like one of the other kids, but like, mm. I feel like it was mostly just like me and Chris, like the whole time. Sure, and that definitely like on the show, like as of uh, where he is at the moment, like Mitch is in uh, Eagle Fang under Johnny. And like, do you think it's any like lingering loyalty to Johnny from their Cobra Kai days of why he's still there? Or like, because obviously Chris is in Miyagi does, like, do you think he's got any particular reason for sticking around in Eagle Fang out of the other options yeah. he's got going for him? Yeah, because like I would have thought, like, after getting kicked out of Cobra Kai, like, I would have just gone to Miyagi do so I could be with my friend again. Mm. But at the same time, like, yeah, it would have been awkward, like, having, like, all those, like, bruise burns, just like, all right, now I'll join you because I have no other option. It's like, uh, you're a dick. Like, I don't know. Mm. Uh, I, um, yeah, I, yeah, I feel like going with uh, Eagle Fang was sort of the right choice because, like, it, like, it was still that, like, physical, you know, karate rather than, like, peaceful, mm. like, <laughs> yoga mm. and all that. So, yeah. Yeah, and actually, I recently spoke to Owen Morgan, who plays Bert, who's obviously also in uh, Eagle Fang. And like, would you say then, because what Owen was saying to me is that obviously he's closest to the actors he's worked the most with, which would be the people in his dojo. So would you say it's similar for you? Or like, is there anyone outside of Eagle Fang or when you were in Cobra Kai that you've gotten really close with on the show? I feel like, I feel like anyone like that we're like, like, because we're all like so close with each other and like great friends. Like, I, mm. I feel like, just like anytime we're like put together like we just like become great friends like in the moment so like I, I, I'm, I'm I don't know I feel like I have more friends on the Miyagi-Do side though like like all like all my people are over there so, right like, yeah yeah like I, I, I have I have a couple friends over on Korokai side where it's like I really wish I could hang out with them and be with them more but mm. like yeah the majority of them like Miyagi Eagle thing so yeah <laughs> Yeah, I actually also spoke to uh, Nate as well, who plays the character Nate, and he yeah. was saying that, yeah, that when they brought all the dojos together in season four, obviously, spoiler, if you haven't watched season four, right, to kind of bring uh, the two dojos together, and he was saying he kind of gave them the opportunity, because he didn't know a lot of the other people who weren't in Miyagi-Do, just because of scheduling-wise, so, like, was there anyone you were really getting to know for the first time, or had you really kind of got to know 
people off off camera off set before that yeah exactly like me and uh like yeah exactly just me and nate even like we would only have a couple scenes like against each other like once in a while mm. and so like when we were like both on the same dojo like we were all just like hanging out and like cracking jokes all the time and, like now we play um uh clash royale together and stuff mm. so that's fun <laughs> for sure for sure and obviously again that season four like it was a pretty big deal it brought in terry silver from the karate kid three he's obviously played by <laughs> thomas C. And griffiths and obviously like there's a few shows now which are like kind of based off the source material and they always say like it's a huge deal when people from the original you know thing kind of come into the new version so like was it you know as big a deal for you guys that someone from the films was coming back in such a major way yeah no, it was it was great like I was really excited for his character like his, his, his was my favorite character like one of my favorite characters like of the series yeah and it's like just just like how he like was like how like how like energetic his and like crazy his performance was like oh i like that johnny i'm gonna use that <laughs> like all that stuff like yeah it, it and like getting to see him in person with like all his like facial expressions and just like is that right mr L like mm. it, it's just so cool getting to see him like perform yeah <laughs> yeah and it was a great retcon that they put in there that he was just high the whole time in Karate Kid 3. Because otherwise, why else would a super rich guy be so interested exactly. in, some, in some kid's karate tournament? Like, you think yeah. You then, things to do, right? Yeah. Yeah, he goes on being be, be like, I, like, I, he goes, I spent like a good portion of my life torturing a kid over a karate tournament. He goes, what mm. kind of a man does that? <laughs> like, <laughs> Like, it's just, it like yeah it's just hilarious yeah and i think especially like if you you know were a kid in the time since the film came out even up to now like if you watch that film and like weren't a little bit scared of terry silver at some point then you, you probably didn't it, you know you probably didn't get the desired reaction but i mean for sure like he was just off the rails and yeah really interesting character i think to bring into cobra kai exactly yeah and it's like yeah everything he's doing with crease like how he yeah like slowly taking it over it's it's it's, it's really cool what they're doing with them <laughs> absolutely and even like you know obviously for your character mitch in the show so far like you were saying he's kind of gone from like wide-eyed kind of new student to being like a bit of a you know enforcer for hawk and you know almost like back again you know kind of uh you know turned a new leaf so to speak but like how do you think overall the whole like karate journey and studying karate has changed mitch's life or you know perspective i guess yeah, I feel like it's definitely helped him because, like, he he probably was just, like, the, you know, nerdy, like, kid who was mm. by himself with Chris all the time, like, just up to, like, WWE kids. But, like, then, like, after all that, now he's got more friends, he's got more connections, he's, like, knows how to protect himself, and, like, he's bettered himself. So, yeah, I feel like, yeah, it's it's definitely improved his life for the better. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And I think definitely because it's a show and as opposed to the movie, it kind of gets to expand on because you know, he'd been like a kid uh you know who saw all of season one from the sidelines and was like oh wow this is cool i'd love to be a part of that and obviously like you know obviously with the films you don't really get to see those kind of characters so it's definitely interesting you know to see people react to the crazy event and then almost then become part of it if it's exactly sense, right? yeah like you could have had like someone in the audience like see um uh, larusso like do the whole like win the tournament for the first movie and then mm. a bunch of students try to join Miyagi and like learn from him like that would have been something cool to get it done absolutely yeah for sure and I know obviously uh you've mentioned there that season five you've already wrapped it uh you know it's, it, you know yeah it's, it's already done but like what do you think you could like maybe tease about it or is, is there anything you can say at all I mean I imagine obviously you don't want to give any spoilers out so I would just say watch uh the third movie carefully right yeah, right. that's all. I feel like that's all I can really say about it. Just watch the third movie carefully. <laughs> mm. Sure. Yeah. I, I, you know, as I was saying to some of the others that I've spoken to, I guess you know it's probably better to keep it keep it brief and like just make, make people want more. You know, because you know I'm I'm hearing that and I've got. I mean, obviously I, I know what you're saying. Like I understand the words, but I've got like no idea what you're implying, which is probably the best way to do it. I think. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, like, I mean, like, like, literally like, anything. There's that can something. Mean. There's something over there. I'm not going to tell you where to look. I'm going to give you general area where to look. So. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, right, you know, as much as people probably think they'd love to know what's going to happen, it'd just be a bit of a bummer when you're watching the show. Oh, yeah, like this, this is when that thing happens that they told me about. And yeah, it's ruined then, right? Not really <laughs> exactly. much point. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I suppose like on a more like personal note, obviously, uh, well, I mean, season four kind of came out at the end of 2021, but what do you hope to accomplish for the rest of uh, this year of 2022? Yeah, just, um, I've just been sticking with Cobra Kai. I've been uh, trying to, like, do better on my social media because, like, I, mm. I, I tend to not be on that as much. You know, I don't feel like tweeting. I, I'm eating a salad, mm. like, every other day. But, uh, yeah, like, yeah, just working on that, getting better at it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is, like, a bit of a reference to, like, a pretty big part of your career. But I have to wonder, like, how many people kind of act to you asking when you're turning into Taylor Lautner? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't happened, happened it, it happened um it would happen like y- when i was younger but like it not yeah. as much anymore like well, when, when ted was more around yeah. yeah yeah i mean i feel i feel like that's the thing people would like latch on to and just kind of constantly be like oh hey so when's that gonna happen you know i mean I, i've seen that in the past with, like similar situations and yeah i think i, I thought for sure people would just be like crazy with that <laughs> Yeah, I just got a membership at a tanning bed place, so I think mm. I'll be no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and I suppose, right, obviously, with the huge success season four has had, and obviously, I'm sure season five will just continue to build on that. Like, what would you like to say to like the Cobra Kai fans around the world? Just thank you all so much for the support. Love you guys. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but it wouldn't be possible without you. So. Mm. Yeah, and you obviously mentioned like your uh, uh, um, online presence, and like where can people find you if they want to like keep up with what you're doing? Yeah, I, I usually use uh, Instagram, but I also have a Twitter. Uh, both are just my name, Aiden Minx. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, be sure to, to follow Aiden if you haven't already. And yeah, I mean, I guess just to say uh, thanks so much for, for taking the time to chat with me today, and uh, you know, best of luck with everything. All the best. Take care and stay safe. Of course, no problem. I had a great time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>